Okay, I think we're all good here. Sorry about the slightly extended wait there. I'd like to just leave this here and just let you wonder what kind of game this is. It's not what you're thinking. Unless you're thinking it's a rhythm game, because I, because I told you that it's a rhythm game. I think that's supposed to be a platter, not a coin, but, you know. You can hump a coin if you want, just don't put it back into the monetary supply, because it's gross. Anyway, hi everyone! I just moved a bunch of server racks at work, and they seem to have worked at their destination, so we're all good. Um, I'm still waiting on a text to confirm that the apps that I work on the most are still working because I don't want to wake up to 20 angry accountants tomorrow, but other than that Things look good um, We got some pizza. We got some super spicy pizza um, And uh, it was pretty good Unfortunately, unfortunately I'm salaried so Sort of unpaid overtime, but I'll I'll just leave a little early to make up for it at some point um, all right, so this is a rhythm game. It's got amazing animation too. Let's start with something easy here. Park, park, park. I'm trying to do stuff. Parker, I'm trying to do. Parker is very mad at me because I showed up like three hours late. Uh, that's an easy one. Um, yeah, the new office looks amazing. I think I posted a few pictures in the Discord. Uh, it's just so much more professional and nice. Um, it's all on one floor. There's no more basement. Um, no more ramps or elevators or any of that crap. It's um, all on one floor. You can just go right up to the door. So, this was originally a mobile game. And um, normally that may be like a negative to some people, but um, it's a music game. Music games are usually fairly unmolested on mobile. They just sell song packs as DLC, you know, which. It's more game. You pay money, more money for more game. I'm fine with that. Um, though if you buy it on Switch, the way this works is that it's a um, the base game is two bucks on PC and Steam or er, on PC and mobile. I should not talk while I'm doing a song, but this one's easy. Um, and I think it's thirty bucks on Switch, but the Switch version is a full game, has all of the all of the content packs in one thing. So I. Was, I assume it's either a little bit cheaper or the exact same price as buying all the DLC. This is a review copy because the game isn't out yet on Switch, so I got a review copy from the developer. Also, this game's originally from a uh, Chinese developer, which you might have noticed. I believe this song is Chinese. The name is... Um, the name of, of the songs that I assume are Chinese are in Chinese. I can identify Chinese by letter. Or, you know, glyph. But, um, not so much sound. I like a lot of the Chinese songs, though. I've never really played a music game. Or any game with Chinese vocals that I'm aware of. So, it's kind of a two-lane... To oversimplify, it's kind of like a two-lane... Um... What's gonna call it? You know what I mean. Uh, guitar game thing. Guitar Hero! <laughs> they make very good and very liberal use of live 2D, as you can see. This is probably some of the best live 2D I've seen in a game, really. It puts Azure Lane to freaking shame. Azure Lane... <laughs> yeah, that's a dead fish she has. Um, she always has, like, a stick-like object to use for her weapon. Do, do not eat my controller. I need that. It does not taste delicious. It tastes like plastic and more plastic. He, he licked it. Do not lick it! It's, uh, you're, you're weird. Anyway, let's not get my stream banned. So, let me show you the options real quick here. So, you unlock outfits and stuff. There's a bunch of dank chivos for those of y'all who like the cheeves. Parker, get your tail out of my mouth. Um, and as you level up, each time you level up you get two items, and so items unlock characters, or elfins, which are basically little buffs. I usually- I always use this dude, actually. Um, so let's just go through the list. Like, this guy, your fever mode lasts longer. Fever mode kinda sucks in this game, I have to say. You don't really have any control over when it activates, and it fairly rarely activates in a particularly advantageous time. So, meh. 
By the way, how's the audio balance? I need to check the audio balance during a song. I might not talk during some of the more intensive songs. Um, but my main man is over here, because he... He turns three misses into great judgments for, um, which means you get three chances to screw up and still get a full combo. So that's my main man right there. Unfortunately, there's certain things, boss attacks and hold notes, he can't protect you from. Music volumes on songs a bit low. I'll raise it up. Yeah, it was, it was a little quiet or it was, we were playing a loud game yesterday. I hate how that works. This guy kind of, it's got a lot of stuff that helps you stay alive. And then there's, this one is the best one for score, it seems like. You get 5% more score for each perfect. Which, people can do amazing stuff in this game. Let me just show you something completely ridiculous here. Um, Parker. Thanks. Um, so... <laughs> Sleepwalker Rin. It is a little quiet, huh? Whoa! Calm. Maintain your zen, Parker. Maintain your zen. He is not maintaining his zen. Alright, so that's up a little bit. So there's three characters. There's Rin, there's Buro, and there's Marija. Which, I'm pretty sure they're Sonic references, actually. Let me show you this, let me show you this. Um, number A, look at this. What do those look- what does that look like to you? I don't- I haven't unlocked the loading screen yet. But what does that look like to you? There's a red ball, a blue ball, and a yellow ball. Parker. Every time I switch things for no reason, that's Parker. Um, but, even more, this one, this is my favorite loading screen. That's literally the stage select, or the, the, the file select from uh, Sonic 3. Tyro girl, best girl. Yeah, I like Rin a lot. I like all of them. Probably Rin the most, though. They got really good costumes, though. And um, I assume the costumes are partially DLC, and the main thing, you gotta earn them. Um, by leveling up, but it's not too bad. But Sleepwalker Rin is amazing. Let me show you this. Let me find the ridiculous enough song. Um, I think it's in Give Up Treatment. Some of the DLC things, um, there's actual happy hardcore music and stuff, and there's like 700 inputs in a two minute song. Um, does this one go up high enough? No. Let's find a level nine. I'm not gonna play any level nines for you, but I'm gonna show you this. Uh, where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. I think it was this one. All right. <laughs> Let me show you what Sleepwalker Rin does. Eat. Good advice, do eat. If you don't eat, you die, so. That would be unfortunate. Sleepwalker Rin is objectively best girl. I'm not pressing buttons. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. Sleepwalker Rin just perfectly does every single input on automatically. Obviously you do not get to save the high score and you don't get experience for it. But it's pretty satisfying to watch. And some people can do these songs almost like this. Not all perfect, but there's videos out there, of course, of people getting full combos on the level 9 songs and stuff. Personally, I've gotten full combos on some level 6s. I can beat level 7s. I haven't even tried a level 9, I don't think. This is a level 9 for reference. No, Parker. I'm, I, have, I have no interest in fighting things level 9 or above. As I imagine you can see. But this game does have a good wide range of, of difficulties. I don't usually play rhythm games, and I can play... Is this a little loud now, or is this just fine? It's a little below my voice, but I don't know. I mean, it's a music game. You should be able to hear the music. D do not expect to see this when I actually start pressing buttons. Maybe this. I could do this. Maybe not this. It's surprisingly difficult to hold one and then do the other, especially when you got to switch like that. That that catches me up real bad. I can do an okay job on the six difficulties. The, the thing about this game is you don't really need to play songs like this. And you can unlock all of the costumes 
I mean, hell, you can just play a single song and unlock all of the costumes. You get more experience if you do more different things and you get all the achievements and crap, but... If you just want to stick to difficulties, like... The majority of the songs have a 6 or below difficulty. She's the most intense sleepwalker ever, yes. I like how they added a little bra on there so it wouldn't be- it wouldn't get my stream banned compared to what the- uh, that's actually hitting that kind of slow. But if you want to see what the perfect score is... <laughs> you gotta love the little live 2D things. They, they go all out on the animations too. The, everyone has a unique winning pose for every costume, a unique in-game thing, obviously. Um, a unique thingy on the main menu. Um, and a unique losing thing, except you're never going to see that for Sleepwalker Ren. Oh, and you can poke them on the main screen. I like how her eyes are closed, but they're still sparkling. How does that work? She's got, like, glittery mascara, I guess. I like how the bra magically disappears when there's no risk of the slippage. It's all about food, spoilers. She just talks about food. Very relatable. Rin really is best girl. But, at some point I should actually play the game, so... Oh, this one's a good one. You gotta love that face. That is a good face. She's like Yakuza. Hey, farmer. <laughs> Surprisingly, well, a lot of a lot of Chinese studios really do the um, Japanese style of game really well. All right, and you can save your favorite stuff here. I'll just do hard for this one. I kind of like that it's hard, not normal, so you don't really feel too bad playing on the easy one, quote unquote. I really hope this video is not completely destroyed by them. Hey, how's the uh, encoding holding up, by the way? I might be able to raise my bitrate a little bit, but I wanted to be a little bit cautious. Let me go for 4.5. I did testing on 5.5 and it seemed fine, but I wanted to do it a little bit lower. Got a lovely little full combo. I really like this one, but it won't let me get master. It will never let me unlock master in this one. I got in full combo like three or four times. Uh, who's my best for score here? Um, 
Like, the best characters for score, Burrow's Joker outfit is ridiculous. I'm not sure I'll unlock it tonight, though. Um, that's probably one of the best ones. I'm not really sure if this one or this one are the best. Not that one. Uh, this one is the best for score. This one gets 25% more, more score, like, all of the time. This one just gets non-specific higher combo bonus. The crazy thing that I saw, the crazy, like, full combo on a level 9 plus thing I saw was using this one. I heard this game described as a music game butt horny, which I'm pretty sure has happened before, but it's not particularly inaccurate. I did good, do a good job with the costumes. I have no idea who would be my best one for score here. I'm probably gonna drop- no, actually! Let's try that one. Yeah, music games are fairly horny in general. I mean, Miku games, I would argue, are inherently horny. Music. Ready? Go. <laughs> I like the Succubus layer. They got really good uh, backdrops for stuff, too. And what's weird is there's one backdrop that's like almost never used. I gotta stop talking. I really like that this sounds like a Disgaea song, though. The, the, the rabbit cannot protect you from that one. Music. Ready? Go. One nice thing about streaming on Twitch again? Integrations for Twitch actually work. So little stuff integrates with y y YouTube streaming, it sucks. All things being equal, I would rather stream on YouTube, but... Hey, I didn't need to use the rabbit at all. Hey, that's right, finally. That's gonna be hard as hell, though. <laughs> yeah, I like caving. 94%. That's not bad, I must say. Oh, crick me bones. So those outfits. Oh. Uni your Unicom. <laughs> Unicom, Mediacom, do not drop frames on me. See, when you level up, you get two items that go towards the um, skins. Look at the fucking smugness. 
Tell me, tell me that is not the smuggest. No, not that. Do, do, do the smug face. Yes. Let me see if I can find the knife cat. I made a knife cat image of her. Where? That, that smug. Let's let her yell at you for a minute while I find this. Yep, she's a Chinese hopping vampire. While I'm throwing random images on stream, I'll show you some pictures of my new workplace. Um, it's really big. It's really nice. It's it's all open space, and there's freaking windows with real human sunlight. There's a freaking patio you can go out and eat on. There's it was freaking. it was raining, but it's, it's kind of nice when it's raining in the new office. It's like, you can hear the rain. I, I, I work in the basement currently. We're, we're in a three-story, like, it used to be a freaking like JC Penny or something. It was not designed to be an office, and it shows. It's, oops, no, no, that can stay where it is. Uh, that. This, scooch it up. That's kind of the entryway. It's really nice. Yeah, Jiangxi, that's it. Yes, no more flooding, no more basement to flood. Be very, very welcome. In fact, I, I would not be the least bit surprised if we go to work tomorrow and it's flooded. But that won't even be our problem anymore very soon. Did we do this one? Did they do this? Yeah, I did that one. Let's do this one. Some of them don't have, um... The loading screens are really good. The, I think the unlockable loading screen is kind of a neat idea. Ready? Though you start unlocking them really late. Um, for the first, like, 60 levels, you just get this one that's just all of the girl's legs, and it's just pretty perfect for the kind of game this is. disappointed that the bear does not hop like a hopping vampire, but I assume that would be a little bit too much to change for the animations. Historic landmark turned office? It was nice to be in, you know, a department store turned into an office, but... Why was one? Ha why did one have a number and the other didn't? Um, 
But yeah, this is this is a whole new office built just for us. It's all it's got all the modern stuffings and trappings, I think I meant. It's got all the modern stuffings too. Hi. Alright, I was gonna do a different costume, each one. Whatever. The, the UI still shows a little bit of, hey, this is a mobile game, but not really in a bad way. Let's see what else we got. Uh, this has been my main costume because more experience and I need to level up to get the other stuff. What else have we got? We use that one. Started with that one. They all have different. <laughs> Uh, they all have different little quotes for each of the costumes. You can poke them on the main screen. Oh. Minicom, please. Okay, just a little mini blip. <laughs> She's very testy with this one. <laughs> that was very cross. I'm sorry, but you're probably gonna see Rabot all the time because <laughs> that's just my main man right there. Ready? You would only ever not no. use Rabot if you're so good you're gonna get the full combo regardless, or you know, so score obsessed that you're gonna need somebody else, or if you're gonna screw up so much that three saves is not enough to matter, which is gonna be me if I try any of the like level seven and above, probably. Nah, Rin is more of the Tsundere one. She seems just more kind of sadistic. It depends on the costume, though. Each each one of them, they, they slipped in a horny line into all of them, basically, though. It's, it's pretty noticeable when you find it. There's these notes that I swear that they move too fast. Oh, God. To um, get... I gotta stop talking. There's some notes that are just too close to each other, and I think maybe on a touch screen they're easier, because this obviously originally used touch controls. Um, but I'm using, you know, button controls. You can still, because it's on Switch, you can still use touch screen controls if you want. I just haven't tried. I love church bells and music stuff. Or even just music. Oh fuck! Man! That was right at the end too! Whatevs. I'm not even entirely sure how the combo or the fever affects the score. Because it's completely impossible to watch your score while actually playing the game and not failing. <laughs> so... I don't really care. I just tried to get a full combo to unlock the next level. And if it's above... If it's above level 7, I just don't even touch it. Ah! Hello! Yes! Barker's a freaking ninja, and... He, he just leaps up onto the arm of my chair. And you don't even hear it, you just feel a furry thing move past you really quickly. And then he's just on the desk. Like, hello, human. How you doing? Oh, and Buru! It's unfair. Buru has all of the good music. Like, none of the, the other tracks for, like, the main characters, they're just kind of like, meh. They're, they're slow. They're not bad, but they're just really slow and they don't really do much for me. Especially not relative to, like, the costume themselves, but, like, they're all so slow. But even for the rocker girl, like, come on, man. Meanwhile, Buru over here is, like, an effort was made. Buro is your obligatory squeaky one. Alright. 
the art's really good, and it credits the artist for the loading screen. There's a different artist for some of them. H2O is the main one and seems to be the Sonic fan. And I assume is the original character designer slash artist for the game. That's right, Barker. Yeah, Burrow is the Genki girl. Um, I'm not sure what you would call Marija, but Rin is kind of the Tsundra thing. But there's kind of an extra, like, layer of personality with each different costume. I hate dumb stuff. <laughs> I don't even dislike electronic music, but it's just... It doesn't even match with the rest of the song. A lot of these songs have this dubstep section, and it just sounds bad, and it does not mesh with the rest of the song at all. And it's just so telling when it starts and when it ends. It's like, oh, the, the good part of the song is back. Yay. It'll come back. Trust me. Parker. It's, it's gonna come back. It's the same fucking samples every time. I'm, I'm sorry. I hate dubs. It's just... All right. I think it comes back now. Oju? Kind of. She doesn't do the Oju laugh, though. At least not that I've seen so far. It's not even that like, I dislike electronic music. I love electronic music. I love happy hardcore and all that stuff. But, like, dub stuff is just... the same sounds. There's no effort to make it, like, a melody or anything. It's... Uh... Well. There's a couple other songs where it fits in even less than this one. Um, if I remember to play them. This wasn't the song I was thinking of. Depends on, I mean, I'm sure there are good dubstep artists, but especially like when it's just dubstep, like, inserted into a non-dubstep song. It just, it doesn't match with the rest of the song, it just sounds bad. I mean, would you call... Would you even call the, um, the Subnautica tracks, like, some of them, would you call those even dubstep? I don't know if I would call them dubstep, because it's not really the wubs, it's not really the generic sounds. I like music I can feel because I'm deaf as hell. Just get, get good for headphones, or, uh, a subwoofer. But I like heavy hardcore, I, or happy hardcore, um... You know, rave techno stuff. I like VNV Nation, Rammstein. I'm, I'm no music, you know, electronic music plebe, but dubstep just, like I said, especially when it's inserted into a non-dubstep song. Is this the one I'm thinking of? I'm just, I'm just not gonna do sevens, especially not ones I haven't done before. I have high frequency hearing loss, so I can't hear as many sounds as those sounds. Huh. I want to listen to the very best of Yoko Ono. Ascendant peak taste. Had a decent variety of music in this too. A lot of otaku stuff, as you'd expect, but... By the way, is this like the voice from Totemachi Life? Na 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 na
Also, this game has one of the nicest and, like, simplest tutorials I've ever played. You play one song, and it gives you, you know, all the different things. And there's not really that many things you need to watch for. The rest of it is just learning to, like, play well. I kept thinking Perfect was pervert. It would fit this game, honestly. Alright. Now tell me when she says your dreams of something, tell me what you think that she is saying. I'll tell you at the end what I think it sounds like. It can't possibly be what it is, but in my mind it's canon. It's my head canon. It's not wrong, it's just my head canon. So not looking forward to see what Content ID does to this video. <laughs> One of many reasons to not play music games, but we'll see. I do want to stream this game more though. Gotta stop talking. Oh, that always fucks me up. I hate when they do that. You get so little time. Where she's saying dreams of your beans and rice and that can't possibly be the lyric but I want that to be the lyric I want it to be a song about like being in a magical land and by magical land I mean Mexican restaurant and ordering like a side dish of beans and rice think about those beans that's the face I make when I'm thinking about those beans I literally couldn't tell what she said a lot of the ones that are in English it's very, very hard to tell what they're saying. It's the Puckle Bell dream. Alright, different. So what ones haven't we done? I think this one- oh yeah, we haven't done many Rins! Have we done any Rins? Oh, we did Sleepwalker Rin, but that doesn't count. Okay, this one might go bad. Have you a tantrum with Taco Bugs and don't tell French What the hell? What is wrong with people? <laughs> You're calling it a racist for not selling fries. You see, receiving French fries is part of my, my religious identity as a frog. You are oppressing me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, that was bad. Yeah, I, 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 so much respect to anyone who has ever worked in fast food. Um, I've had the luxury of not doing that, and it's <laughs> incredible. Though I almost think everyone should be like forced to do it for like a year, just so you see like, oh, this is this is what people are really like, huh? And also, so you have respect for those people because they have to put up with that shit. More like it.
How the fuck are you supposed to hear what they're saying, by the way? Yeah, someone was singing during that. Fuck! Shit. Ugh, shouldn't have talked. I blame it on talking. I can't do those! I can't, I can't fucking do the hold and then press the other one. Ugh. I was doing pretty good until that. If you just wiggle the control sticks, it does the mashing thing really easily, by the way. That's what I do. I also believe it would make a lot of people a lot less awful. Yeah, I really, I really think a lot of people would be. Oh, we did do that one. I don't have that one yet. I still got five horny outfits to unlock, unfortunately. And the horniest ones are the ones you unlock last, of course. Though, I don't know, Marisha kind of goes on like a sinusoidal thing. It kind of hits peak horny around these. And then... I mean, maybe this one. I don't know. She's got the jiggle going on. This is actually a, a boss in the game, by the way. Uh, a boss at a level that is like almost never used. If I, let me see if I can find. I found it one of these things. All right, this is a Japanese one. Let's do that. Oh, fuck it, level six. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Compulsory customer service positions for all. Here, here we go. This isn't the one I thought, though. It's like a dog cat in the background, by the way. You get attacked by Reddit. Yeah, this one and the Japanese land. Also known as Japan. Um, are the rarest backgrounds. Which is kind of weird because half the songs are Japanese. But they usually use the Candyland one. Kind of for the jazzy stuff, I guess. Just spasm on that saxophone, man. See, there she is. There he is. Slaps roof of car. You can fit so many missiles in this puppy. In a way, I've worked semi customer service. I've, I've had to deal with trucker calls in my job. Usually, not only usually because other people are like not at work or whatever. Not talk. Level 6 is about the, the furthest point I can get without making lots of fuck-ups. And you get extra experience with the little achievement things. <laughs> I guess there's a bird down the restaurant, good god. Yeah. 
I love Bad Girls Rin's face animations a lot. Oh god. Ugh. People are gross. I'm I'm glad I'm I'm glad I only have moderate levels of contact with them. And my current thing. Uh, this one's alright. Let's be brave. Mim is insisting on sleeping on my Parker gets mad if I come home late. I came home, like, 20 minutes late, um, yesterday or something, and he was, like, mad at me. See, th those three together. I'm not sure if that was possible. I mean, it's possible, but, like... you can only get by getting a low score. Wish Joe Forever was awake to watch this. I know he does music stuff all the time. Oh, you can watch the VOD, I guess. Which I still need to upload the last couple VODs. I'm not used to the Twitch thing where I gotta manually edit and upload again. He still gives you nice good quality though. Did I forget to put chat on screen? I did. I thought I had chat! I'm sorry chat. Um, let's see again, I'm not really used to... Man, I was in a different scene where I had Twitch chat. Oh well. Oops. No, you, you don't need to be... There we go. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. We were talking about- I don't know what- Did I pause at the very end of the song? I guess I did. Um... I like the outfits ones. The... Oh, we got the Sonic one. I have to see what that- I have to see what that loading screen is. Um... We're for some reason talking about fast food... situations. Oh, they're doing that little right X's on people's faces Japanese New Year thing. They got Mr. Pig! Mr. Pigums. But see, they got different artists to do a bunch of the different um, things. You can see over. And there's Barry Vine. Oh, yeah, we, we got this one. You can tell it's just because of all of the freaking colors. I sure Jimmy Jones is Car for 300 bucks is like a great deal, but like, then the moment anything goes, you're gonna be like, oh wait, that, that, that costs more to fix than I paid for the car. Oh my god. Jeez. That's nice though. I like the, um, I like all the different little arts. <laughs> Let's fold the camera first. You can, there's a little bit of, um, a little bit of Chinese English going on there in some of the things. But uh, it doesn't get in the way of understanding things too much. I like the music of this one. It takes a long time to get started though. I like that face. I've not really had too much bad work experiences. I've been very lucky in that regard. What, what is Kira Kira? 
I remember Kira Nikki from, um, who was it? Valhalla. Which, by the way, Valhalla apparently is getting, like, a DLC or, like, a, a crossover in, um, who's a was it game? Um, Gun Girl game. You know the one. Um, Girls Frontline. Which sounds even more disturbing than it actually is. It's just guns are made into girls because, you know, anime. And I don't have no idea why the hall crossed over with that. There's no guns. I mean, somebody gets shot, but like, off screen. It's not really... I don't know. Uh, it's- uh, I like- I liked Valhalla. I would like to get the characters, but I'm not gonna get another Gashapon game. No, if it was in- if it was in... If it was in, um, Azure Lane, I would play it. Alright, so what's one of the ones with the Japanese thingy? Probably not that one. That might be it. I'm not playing that on seven. I like the numbers that explain the difficulty. They they, they match up pretty well, actually. Here we go. I think we've seen all the backgrounds now. It's not a huge amount, but just as a reminder, this game costs two bucks for the base game on mobile. And at that price, I crazy much recommend it. Um, I would say for what I've played on Switch, I would have paid the full 30 bucks. Like I said, the deal, the, the Switch one has all the DLC included. I don't know if it has a... I don't believe it has a physical copy. If it does, I'll have to get one. But... I think it does. They do a good job of matching songs to the background. But a lot of them are just the happy forest, and it makes sense, but... It's kind of a shame. It's a couple of good backgrounds. Even the techno one is used a little bit less than I think it probably should be. It's a lot of fairly techno stuff that's placed other ways. Nya nya. I like the different Gemini enemies. I think it's supposed to be an evil Rin. There seems to be an evil version of each character as one of the bosses. Alien girl, the UFO girl is like evil Buro. The lady in black is evil Marija. I assume this is evil Rin? Hard to tell with the helmet, but kind of. I uh, certainly, so there isn't another one that would be even closer, so. Hey, James. Oh, fuck it! I was put- God damn it! I put the controller down! Hey, I still got a full combo. I don't know how that- I don't know how that works. I guess the- I guess the buzzsaws don't count. I don't know. That was... I'm very glad. I still got a... I got a freaking silver for that. Um, the silver S is the, the second... It's the best possible ranking. You get a gold S if you get literally perfect score. Um, like, every single note is perfect. Not like full combo, but every single... That's like... Yeah. I, 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 that's one thing about this game, never, until you hear the words full combo, don't put your controller down, because I've, I've been done dirty like that many times. Alright, for some reason you gotta press Y to start the ranking thing. It saves your scores though. Oh, whoa. The game must have released in Japan. The, 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 I used to be, me and DJ Tatsuin. The, he is, were the, like, the only people who've played almost every song on here. There's a few other reviewers. It must be out in Japan. A bunch of Japanese names there. Night, Hazy! Uh, 
EB. I'm really curious to see how bad I get screwed over by content ID. And technically, if your song is licensed in any way, you're not supposed to be able to upload it to content ID. It's only for stuff you exclusively own. By the way, I, I could barely play rhythm games before I started playing this. I've only been playing it for about a week? So, I do think even if you don't play them, you can get fairly decent. Yeah. Horny anime games are a great way to get decent in any game. Great encouragement. This is just so cute, you gotta love it. Screw me over. Oh, I forgot to get a thing. I feel kind of bad with a rabbit, which is good stuff. Uh, uh, no, because those don't count for combo. That was a really rude time to use the Ghosts game. Crimes. So pleasing to watch. Yeah, it's really soothing. It gives me this game gives me that kind of same kind of zen that like doing really well in a bullet hell shooter. It just gives me that good feeling. Um, I really think even if you're usually scared off of rhythm games like I am, um, you can just kind of find your zen um, and the right difficulty. It's like ASMR for your hands, kind of. Like I said, horny anime girls is always a great way to um, encourage the living or the improvements of the body. I don't really know what's going on in this <laughs> image. I guess that's one of the enemies that she shoots out of the car, that she's just kind of giving a nice little thumping. Oh, I don't know why the... The, the character's movements are synced to the mu- or they're timed to the music, but they're not necessarily synced. See, it's like, it's not quite- it's a little bit off here, but if I... See, now it's kind of synced. Like, you can tell they're made with the same tempo, but they don't start the animations and the music at the same time. It's kind of weird, because obviously in the main game, the music and the animations are timed, so... I don't know why... Do not kiss! We just heard a weird noise that was Parker kissing the mic. See, Buru has the best music, though. It's unfair. Her music is like five times. The Buru is super cute. Hello, Parsons. Would you lay down, please? Ah! 
I love this. I like that her boo is like, blah! She's like a little Hank Hill. Wah! Wah! Dang it, Bobby! I'm a vampire, Bobby! I gotta suck your propane! Woo! Hi, Parker. I wanna bite you. Which is the opposite of the way it usually goes. The animation also desyncs as time goes on. I think it kind of stays, I don't know. The beat on some of the things goes, <laughs> suck their, pro their propane through their pro veins, exactly. Oops. Parskins. Parskins, I'm trying to... Oh! Bitrate, please. Now we're good. It's just a little mini drop. I kind of wish it wouldn't even tell me about mini drops, because I freak out, and there's no need. There's no need for that. Alright, which character are we? Uh, whoever wants that much. Sure. Funky is Jiangxi. I like the- the variety of costumes is really good, too. Parker glared at me the moment the song started. I think you can hear it through my other. What difficulty was the song again? I like the bear a lot. I have no idea what his name is. Bruno is the girl, I don't think it ever tells you what the name is. This game also does not really have a story of any kind, unfortunately. I'm not sure what the story would be, you're just kind of doing songs and stuff. That one had a story though, but it's not really quite like this. Barrel, sure. I need to stream Pat upon at some point. Though my can't talk periods for Pat upon might be even longer. Love Pat upon though. Did they ever remaster Patapon 2 and 3 on PS4? Patapon 1 is still good, but it's really crush your balls hard. I don't know if they address that at all in the remake. Remaster. Right, the song isn't that bad, it's just the beginning is way harder than most songs usually are. They usually do a pretty good job of easing you into it. But of course, your first time playing a song, you're gonna do pretty bad. The Mystery Skulls cast. Yeah, it kinda does have that kind of feel. Kind of that fighting zombies kind of, uh. Fighting zombies doing music kind of vibe. Mystery Skulls is really good. Um, look, up, look up their music videos if you've never heard of them. He's got a W, so I assume there's some kind of, you know, W involved in there. Master sleuth work, I know. Maybe there's Waluigi. He looks more like a Wario. He's got the red though, so maybe he's just maybe he's just Mario that, you know, put his belt on upside down. His famous Mario belt. We gotta go to Bendigo, Luigi! Get me Green Cube! I can't believe I never saw Bush World Adventures until, like, a few days ago, actually. I watched it, like, five times in a row, honestly. Morty! We gotta go to Bendigo! Parker's leaving. He's like, no, I'm not dealing with this. Get me Cube! Science me portal gun, Morty. Now it's also a real gun. Not a real gun, Morty. Is there any word for bear that starts with W? 
I know this is regular W, regular U, single U, if you will. It sounds like Pokemon. Do you do these voices yourself when it's just you and Parker? Not usually, no. It's Wojek the Fighting Bear. Wojtek? Oh, huh. It's really good use of the live 2D in this. I, re I really wish Azure Lane would kind of take a hint from that. Because you can, like, pay. You gotta pay a fair amount of money to get skins with Live 2D in that game, because not everyone has it. And it's real bad. It's real freaking bad. <clears throat> Dare I do the six? Um, let's try the Jiangxi, maybe I'll get... Polish bear that made a soldier in World War II. Huh. Ready? Go. Is that how you say boo in Japanese? You just make a Hank Hill noise? Boo Picked easy, but no. Oh, fuck. For some reason, the, the, the long notes are the hardest ones. You think it's just holding a button, but not quite. One nice thing is that every missed note does not hurt you. Um, it's actually fairly hard to die on most levels. Depends on the level. Yeah, this is Candyland, so it's definitely edible. I really do not approve of the ones where you hold on one lane and then you gotta tap on the other one. Maybe it works better on playing touch. I'm still, like I've said, I never played the touch controls. I'm using tilt controls! <laughs> the little jump sound effect is a really good use of the, uh, the song. The one nice thing about- dang, that was still a B. This is a lower- this is a C that I've never managed to get. I've lost a couple times, but I've never gotten a C. But there's actually a few achievements where you have to get 10 C's and 10 B's. So you get a little bit, there's a little bit that you have to like, do bad to get. So it's a nice little reward. If you suck or play difficult levels. Let's go down in difficulty. I got just one. Looks like this one will probably be my next one. Let's get the present. Oh wait. Oh, I got present! Huh. I guess it's spreading them out. Soon enough, I should have everything. Um... Uh, use that in a while. Yeah, they do great- they did great character design work for all this. I don't know why it just says music at the start of the game. Just in case you forgot the entire point of the game that you were playing. Like, oh! It's a music game! Am 
By the way, if you're making a rhythm game, a really cool thing that you can do is make like an option that only allows selection of like content ID safe music. Some games do that. These outfits. There's no such thing as excessively horny. It's a pretty horny game. I'm never against that. If I, the only reason. <laughs> I don't usually do rhythm stuff, but I thought it looked cute. So I was just like, you know what, I'll take a risk, and I've... This is, I've been playing this, this has been most of my gaming time for the last week, so... Definitely worth trying out. I think this is not counting Patapon, which I've played like 300 hours of. Um, at least, at least 100 or 2 hours. I don't know, maybe... Ah, a lot. More than this. This hasn't, hasn't even been out that long. Yeah, I've never played a rhythm game. As much as it. And a nice, a kind of nice thing about this game, there's no ending. So, um, if, if you want to call it beating the game, like, just beating one difficulty of every track on the main thing, I would say that's totally possible for somebody like me that has no real rhythm game experience. I did play all of the Patabon games on normal difficulty, but I never beat the first one because it doesn't have... I beat them on easy difficulty. Um, but I never beat the first one because it doesn't have an easy difficulty. But um, I went fairly quick. Get some of that nice meaty calm in there. Only 1% drop frames, that's acceptable. It's very... <laughs> I never expected to get this many full combos, it's pretty satisfying. That's why I love Mr. Rabbot. I kind of wish it would all work towards one thing. How readable is that chat thing, by the way? I haven't really messed with it. I thought it, I thought it was supposed to have an outline. But whatevs. That is the worst violin I've ever seen. Oh, I regret this. Now I can just play it on three. I want to see what this dying mode thing is. Blah! I was not expecting this. I was not expecting a smug hopping vampire. A lot of the, the outfits kind of surprised me. Like you can preview the outfits, but you don't get the the dialogue quotes or like the in-game animations. So something surprised me a bit. Like I was not expecting dead fish for the maid outfit. Also very good color matching. Um, the main colors are pink and blue, which is much more colorblind friendly. Um, red and green is very bad for colorblindness. I think multiple kinds of colorblindness, but especially the most common kind. Which is so-called red-green colorblindness. And they're also different sprites too, so even if you're totally colorblind, uh, plus they're in different lanes, but th there's some visual differences. Usually the ones on the top are sadder. The blue. Fuck. <laughs> There's no way I was getting through that. The holding ones, I definitely have the most trouble with. Which 
which had a 20% opacity gray background to it. I think just a little outline. I think just a little outline would be fine. Of course, ideally, I would just rather not have... Oh, Mediacom. Thanks, Mediacom. That's some classic. That was some classic Mediacom right there. Anyway. I had to stop and restart. I had to stop the stream on OBS. Okay, should be back. That was dumb. I think we've done all of this pack. Yeah, I don't know why Twitch does that. That's really weird that it just dumps the chat. First, first kids, what are you doing? Parker. Parker. You need to calm. Do not attack the curtains. The curtains are not your enemy. You're crazy. Alright. What time is it? Oh, it's 10. <laughs> Long day at work today. Um, talked about earlier, but yeah, moved in all the servers, and it went it went pretty well. It was freaking raining up a storm though, which I suppose it always is when when it's raining. But um, Parker, calm your body, please. He's gonna break something. Um, I was trying to say, but yeah, it was, so we're moving a ton of servers, and so of course rain is exactly what you want to see when you're moving servers. But we gotta, we moved to the... What the hell? We'll play the Russian one, okay. Why not? Do I get to go in late tomorrow? Uh, no, I actually have to go in early tomorrow because um, we have to make sure everything is working right. But I'll probably leave. A little early. I'm gonna move over my PC to the new office tomorrow. You're not rushing. Oh, you are. Mitch McConnell thinks this is communism. Did you know that Mitch McConnell thinks fucking Puerto Rican statehood is full bore socialism? No, not taxing without representation is now socialism, apparently. <clears throat> socialism just means anything that Mitch McConnell doesn't like. Like black people. Or, you know, liberty, justice, equality. Things like that. Some of Wojciech's people. Okay, I gotta, I gotta redo. I like to call him Bitch McTurtle for a reason. In a desperate conflict with a ruthless enemy. I usually just finish the song, but you still get experience no matter how bad you did. Intimidating Christmas music. I'm, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. See the fees the fever is weird in this game. It's really short. There's no it automatically triggers. <clears throat> and uh, it raises your score, but like
There's a setting for manual fever? Is there? I'll have to check the menu, the, the options, but... I'd probably just never remember to use it at the right time, but... I guess when a boss appears would be the right time. This does have control options, though, which is nice. It's got a one-handed control option, so that, like, all of the... Both of the inputs are on the same hand, which is nice. Yeah, this is the Switch version. <clears throat> so there's different control options in the Switch and PC version. Uh, I don't see one. Here's the... I accidentally put it into one-handed mode once, and I was confused as hell. I was like, what, what is going on? But It's a very good option to have. Oh, it's got... Of course, it's got the offset option. There is on the Android version? Really? That's... That's a damn shame. That's, that's weird. They'll add it in after launch, maybe, but... Huh. That's weird. It comes out tomorrow, or today, if you're in Japan, so... There may be some patches or something to it. That's a surprise, though. That there's a feature in the mobile version. Oh, did we have MediaCon? Oh, wait, no. My, my stream never came back. It's still on the Twitch is dead thing. I thought Twitch was better about that than YouTube. Guys, there's a thing on my stream, what is it? What is that? This is like a box with a question mark on it. What, what is that Streamlabs? I'll hide that, oops. What? I don't understand these Twitch overlay things. I put them on my own stream and I have no idea how they work. It's like, yeah, it's a Streamlabs alert thing. You can disable them. Let's do that one because we get more experience. So, what are we close to unlocking? We're halfway to the last Elfin. <laughs> Even though I pretty much only use Rabot. You. Open access to the one. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Hmm, this one doesn't seem bad. Right? I like that one. I find it funny that the, on day one that it releases in Japan, there's already people beating uh, DJ Tetsuo and Witch. They've, they've been like dominating all the rankings when um, pre-release, you know. I haven't seen a lot of reviewers playing it, at least not playing it online, which... You have to press a button to add your ranking online, it's weird. You're not automatically logged into it. It does save your scores, it just doesn't... Alright, I gotta stop talking. Of an underused background. Yeah, this is the Switch version. It's got a, uh, it's got touch input too. I just haven't used it. In fact, that might solve some of my issues with some of the really fast inputs. I don't know. I'd really love to see. There's people doing them, doing full combos on like nine-star songs. 
But what I really want to see is that I want to see their hands. I want to see their finger movements while they're doing that. Like, the full combo video is impressive, but like, I want to see what's going on there. Kind of like some Twitch streamers have hand cam. So I might stream this again tomorrow or something, or maybe this weekend. I can't stream Friday because we're moving PCs at work. So I'll probably be... Hell, I might be there all the way to 8 again. Because whatever we don't finish Friday, we gotta do Saturday. It's a pain in the butt, but this is kind of a... Probably once in a... Like, job time move. We got a whole brand new office that's really nice, like I was talking about earlier. Can't wait to get over there. There's no, not gonna be any more flooding, there's gonna be natural light. This game flow with the controller? Yeah, I think it works great with the controller. So I'm gonna believe super hard control with the controller. Yeah, I don't know. Um, some of the super fast inputs definitely give me trouble, but I'm not amazing with rhythm games. Um, if you want the most versatility, I, I guess I would go with Switch, because then you can use controller or the touch. Really? Did it launch today? Maybe. Wait. If I already bought the game, if I already have the game, does it show? Well, it shows like a new release. Oh, let me check it on Steam. Recent releases. I don't think it's out yet on... Wait, don't, don't Twitch game, or don't Switch games come out on Fridays? Maybe that's why. Uh, I think it's on Steam. What's on Steam? Steam news dash. I thought it came out tomorrow, but it could be wrong. The embargo ended today. Yeah, it's it's out tomorrow on Steam. And it's three bucks on Steam, and there's DLC. If you include all the DLC, it's basically the same price as the Switch one. Is that on Steam for you? It'd be a regional thing. Oh, come on, Mediacom. By the way, I, I got so confused with this. I thought you had to, when it says achieve 10 minus misjudgments, I thought that was just like a weirdly placed dash. But no, that means 10 or less. I've seen like 10 plus, but 10 minus, I've really never seen. Oh yeah, so it's it's releasing on the 20th. So yeah, if you're in, if it's already the 20th in your time zone, then that would be why it's out. I'm surprised Steam doesn't just have like a single global release date though. Because the games are, well, usually not region locked. Some stuff is region locked to Russia because they get like, they pay like 10% because they would never pay full price for games. Yeah, if you're curious, I would definitely try to check it out on, especially on like Steam or mobile. It's really low price of entry. Uh, the costumes, part of the DLCs on the non-Switch version. For anybody who's got them or knows. My first experience with this is the Switch version. But hopefully they add that um, thing where you manually do fever. That's I was because I was so like, why, why is fever automatically used? That doesn't make any sense. But if there was an option to do it, that much more reasonable. I love when these guys just toss their friends out of the car. That's like such a like Paper Mario boss concept. It's like I can see these as being like X knots. So much trouble, it's stupid. Also, the thing with the controller, 
everything on the left side activates, like, the up action. So, like, if you want, you can use multiple fingers on multiple buttons. I'm not that hardcore yet, but... That might be a way to play the super difficult stages, I don't know. Oh, there's no Steam achievements? I mean, there is in-game achievements, but, um, actually, I think games might have to be out on Steam for a while to get achievements or something, or maybe that's cards, but they had a lot of problems with, like, people would make, like, a thousand free achievements games, and you'd pay a dollar, and you'd get, like, a hundred achievements for starting the game, and it's freaking stupid, but people really want achievements, so it happens. Are you getting that higher combo with the controller? Um. Oh, you mean the mash inputs? I just rotate the control the control sticks. I can mash that fast. Um, I'm pretty good at mashing actually, but it is much easier to just circle the control stick. And I think it's either. I think it, it may be slightly higher. Oh. I gotta not talk. Uh, I think it's actually maybe slightly higher or about the same. Um, but it's really hard to mash with the handheld mode. I can't mash that fast in handheld mode. I gotta use the Pro Controller. had little diff differences like that. This song makes me feel like my speakers are too low. Oh, what the f- I never miss those enemies. is a really cool game. I've got a bunch of streams on it on my YouTube actually. In fact, I think I streamed those on uh, Twitch, didn't I? I've been back and forth on Twitch like... Those presses, man. I've been back and forth on Twitch like four or five times now. The only time I'll be number one on these rankings is when no one else has played this song yet. Surprising perks of being a reviewer. Um, what do we unlock? Oh, I got that one. It's kind of a 2001 Space Odyssey kind of vibe to it. Much cuter. Yeah, the PS1 game. Oh, now we're talking. This, this is not how you hold the plate for a drink. It's very much just got a fish. Why the fish are maids associated with fish? I, I don't. I'm not particularly sure about that one. The illustrations are nice. This game does a really good job of like motivating you to like keep playing and stuff. I, I find that I find my motivation very lacking. In uh, most rhythm stuff. Let's be. 
There's a lot of auras from uh, that particular costume. Ara and Maho, she says like every sentence. Go. Oh, there's no ear fluff in the chippy sprite. That's a shame. The fluff is one of the most important parts of the ear. I've seen a lot of horny cute games. I think this game strikes a good balance between the two. Like, it's not quite like Cinder Kagura where I can see, like, just not getting it. It's too horny. Horny energy too strong, but you can just not use those costumes. And the default costumes aren't that horny. You gotta work to the horny. Fuck, I, I put my hand down because it wasn't playing music. Why did I do that? <laughs> You're never done until you hear full combo. Of course, that's something I always fuck up on the, the long things, and the rabbit can't protect me from those. Which I think is kind of rude. Even if it required taking two units of its thing. See, that was the only thing I missed was one of those, but it doesn't count for the rabbit. I even still got an S? Huh. Oh wow, Jesus Christ, only nine greats. That's, that was... That would have been amazing if I had just not hit that, but unfortunately it was towards the end of the song, so... The default costumes are super cute. And all of Burrow's stuff except for the gesture thing. Marisha has definitely has the highest horny energy. This one's alright though. This one is the one they made the um, icon though. I think I've seen that. I think I've seen this game's been on mobile for uh, I think about a year. I think I've seen this in the thingy. Uh, my Twitch and YouTube are pretty different. I don't usually. I've been kind of back and forth on Twitch. Yeah, I streamed on Twitch like. Three years ago, and then just didn't stream for a while, and then I ended up streaming on YouTube until about a month ago. I haven't really just gone on. Look at the, the bounce, though. The eyelashes, I mean. Duh. Bwah! What? What is these billions? There's another one that's got billion for no reason in the name. Four billion. But not like billion billion, like different billion. Oh, the zombie one? Both of the costumes had big sleeves. Yeah, the hopping vampire one is cute. Wait, is billion actually a word? Hey there. Boss right of the gate, huh? Also, I really appreciate that. I've 
almost never been kicked out of a song in this game, even when I do really bad. And that's one of my least favorite things in any kind of music game. It's like, how am I supposed to get better at a song if you don't let me play it? That I can handle. Hey, this song is good practice for doing that. Oh, this is offset adjustment, by the way, which is really nice. I guess most music games have that now, but I don't play a lot of them, so it's nice to see. Used to have for that on PS2 days. But most people have CRTs, so they didn't need it. I still didn't need to buy a CRT. As strange as that sounds. For some reason, I have a really hard time getting the boss knocked back at perfect. Animation on all of the outfits is really good. Oh, by the way, the, the achievement for unlocking characters is called. Oh, where is it? Wow, pretty girls! <laughs> Perfect. The game, the game knows what it is. It's great. Uh, what did we get? This one. Oh, yeah. Got some legs. We haven't seen the legs. This is the first and only loading you screen until you get, until like level 50 for some reason. We drop frames? Oh no, we didn't. Co according to Google, four, 2 billion is whirlwind. Really? Huh. Yeah, you just get a nice dose of leg every single loading screen, which is pretty nice. Kind of a weird balance, though. Well, that seems like something that might be French. I like the little abstract drawing, the little abstract icons of the loading screens. That's really cute, actually. This game's got so much style, I really like it. I'm, I'm just never gonna use anything. Oh! Mediacom. I love Mediacom. Mediacom is so good and definitely does not ruin every stream that I do. It's it's so nice and cool that they uh, that they do that. Anyway, I should probably sleep at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more song. But thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you're new to the stream, don't forget to follow. I'll probably stream this more this weekend, maybe. We'll do one more video here. But yeah, Mediacom is being a pain in the butt, and I gotta get to work early tomorrow, so I'll probably wrap up here. Yeah, this is Muse Dash. It's really good. I do recommend.
right, I just want to hear one more full combo. So let's do let's do a song we're familiar with. We haven't been using Rin very much. Oh frick! <laughs> I haven't been using Rin very much because ha ha one of her costumes like is autoplay, so I can't use that. I wish there was an option to use that, but not have it be autoplay. I got an achievement for less than 10 misses. It's really confusing. It's 10 minus misses. Which, I'm not sure I've ever seen that notation before. Yeah, we're gonna be- we're gonna do one more thing here. Uh... Oh yeah, we haven't done- They all have different quotes on this screen. Did you wanna go to the hospital? Yes. Let's do sports! Guys, let's go do a sport. Which, which for, sport is your favorite? Mine is sports. Uh, sure, let's do- oh. Controller, please. The controller just had an aneurysm. Did she say go to hospital? Uh, there's, there's a fair amount of Chinese English in this. Mediacom, don't you dare. Just one more song, Mediacom. I'll give you a rest soon. I hate my internet service provider so much. Yeah, this was a real fun stream. I, was, I wasn't sure how... Okay. <laughs> we finished talking and then I'll play the song. Um... Oh yeah, I think British... Yeah, that's the British way of saying it anyway. So I guess it's not that bad. Um... What was I saying? This has been a fun stream. I wasn't sure how... It, uh, bleh, how well it would work doing, you know music game while talking, and obviously it does cause problems because it just did. But, I think it's still If you restart, you just literally restart the whole song, so. You just don't get the score or anything from the original, you know, play. Full combo! I'm getting lots of illustrations right now. Your bassist Rin is pretty good. She's your default character, too. I like Bad Girl Rin better, though. A fucking bat. She's so she's so happy about that bat. She's like so horny at the thought of hitting you with the bat. Hold on. No, no, do do the blushy face. There we go. She's so happy about the prospect of hitting you with that bat. My mighty and heroic look, yes. I'm not sure this is what I would call heroic, but I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, I really like this one. Oh no. There's not too many songs by them, but I like theirs. 
They're really cute. I didn't play this one. This one is really good, but there's like a dubstep in it. I'll do, okay, one, one final song. For real this time. I'm just gonna play it on easy because I'm tiny bad. I don't want to play a 7 plus song for the first time on stream. It'll be bad. Music. Ready? I, got, I gotta go to work like half hour early tomorrow. I usually get in a half hour late because I, I can't... I take short lunches. And because we have somebody that complains and likes to break things at 5 p.m. I'm not supposed to leave early, so I come in a little late. So half hour early for me is more like an hour. Like why? Why is this here? There's no reason for this to be here, other than making the song a bitch in the ass to play. It stops though, don't worry. But it's such a good song, and then you put this in it. Oh, fuck. So I got so distracted by the actual song and restarted it, I dropped the combo. Well, I would have. Casual, but no jeans, good lord. I wear jeans every day. Jeans and a, like, a dressy-ish t-shirt. Not, not too unseemly t-shirt. Like, no symbols and stuff. No gang signs. And that's fine. It's not like sales or anything, anyway. I even play better without the fucking dubstep garbage. Oh, and then I dropped the combo. It's still a hard song. All of those greats in a row, that's embarrassing. But why, why do artists do that? Quality faces in this game. Go to goodfaces.com to get those faces. <laughs> Speaking of randomthing.com, we've been getting porn bots in the Discord lately. I also love the, the extreme English of Tripper's feeling. Which I guess is the feeling of. Is, I can only assume is the feeling of being on vacation from the image here. Exactly, Pariah is, is a person of taste. Boys only naked girls change pitch what? That's, that sentence broke my brain. I hope this is a background or a loading screen by the way. I like the art here. Good song too. So is the DLC, is the main game all of these songs? Cause like, the default music is huge. I'm not sure how many, but it's a lot. Porn bot. Oh, you were talking about the porn bot. I was like, what the hell? Just, just, did she like trip the freaking wire in her brain? Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you're new to the stream, don't forget to follow. Um, oh, crap, my bones here. Um, We'll probably be streaming this probably tomorrow or this weekend. Friday, I got a. Yeah, we've been getting porn bots in the Discord. I forgot I was talking about that. But the auto mod should take care of all of them. It's just so stupid. <laughs> Girls in my area were waiting to meet me. Yes. 
hot girl in your area would like to know your location. Oh, by the way, um... I love that one of the artist's name is just Umu. Here's some art, Umu. <laughs> anyway, good night everybody. Hopefully work stuff goes well, um... Friday. But yeah, on mobile it's just two bucks, three bucks on Steam. Um, you have to bid the full package on, um... On Twitch, but I heard Switch. <laughs> Not Switch! Um, but I still think it's worth it. Let me know how you like it, Perry. I really enjoyed it, and I don't usually like rhythm games that aren't called Bad Upon. My wish is to conquer all the tasty food in the world. The farmer is totally burro. Actually, Rin Light talks about food a lot, too. It's a food related love. <laughs> Best girl, though. <laughs> she just talks about food. Just gonna ignore that one. I do, Rin. Me and I roll every morning, yes. I love her little sakis and slipperinos. She's got a little bunner on there. Very quality. <laughs> There's some accordion in there! I've never listened to this song for very long. I want to take a nap every day. Sleepwalking Rin is just me. And everyone watching the stream is that rabbit. That ominous hovering rabbit that's been here the entire goddamn time. I'm not sure- I'm not- has he even helped me get a full- he probably has helped me get a full combo a few times in the stream. Usually, I either get the full combo naturally or I drop one of the stupid long notes and he doesn't count for those. Anyway, good night everybody. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon, and any relevant links to the game.